Hi everyone, welcome back to a new lesson. So today we're going to learn all about Korean adjectives. And if you've been following my lessons, we already know this one important trait about an adjective that it mainly has two functions. So first, it acts as a verb in a sentence to complement a subject like Jeff is sad or the cat is small. And second, it acts as a modifier to modify a noun after it, like sad cat and small puppies. So yes, uh, adjective has those two different functions. And in English, when an adjective functions as a verb, it is followed by a be verb, right? It is always followed by a be verb. But in Korean, when an adjective functions as a verb, it is treated just like verbs. So that means you can conjugate an adjective by following the same rules in the verb conjugation. If you're not already familiar with Korean verbs and how verb conjugation works, please go check out uh, this lesson over here before you continue because that'll help you understand both the verbs and adjectives in Korean better and follow this lesson more easily. So when you want to say Jeff is sad, Tepuga, you write the subject first and subject marking particle. Sepuda corresponds to to be sad, and you have to conjugate sepuda in its present form, so it becomes sepa. And if you want to make it in a tundemai form, you can use yo, right? So tepuga, not sepuda. But Tepuga wo Tepuga Sulpoyo to mean Jeff is sad. And same with this one. The cat is small, so you first write the subject of a sentence, which is koyangi, and then put subject marking particle. And the ver the adjective that corresponds to be small is takta. And you simply have to conjugate takta in present form and it becomes taga yo. We're gonna get to a specific conjugation rule in adjective soon because although they pretty much work the same way as verb conjugation, there are some exceptions. So we're gonna get to it, so don't worry about it. I just wanted to show the big picture of how it works. So yes, this is how it works. An adjective is conjugated in present form, past form, or future form depending on what tense you mean in that sentence. However, when the adjective is used as a modifier, like sad cats and small puppies, uh, the adjective has a different form. When it acts as a modifier, it has a different form, which is 슬픈, 슬픈 고양이. It's not 슬퍼요 고양이, but 슬픈 고양이. And small puppies as well. It's not 작아요, it's 작은 강아지들. So you can see that with different function, an adjective has different form. But first, let's learn how to conjugate adjectives when they function as a verb in a sentence. And then we're going to learn how to make them in a modifying form. So adjective conjugation rules are pretty much the same with verb conjugation rules, so it wouldn't be in that difficult if you are already familiar with how verb conjugation works. Uh, but there are a few rules that are not the same so we're gonna get into that and i classified uh the conjugation rules in five groups so this is the first group uh you take out the stem and put a and these are all the subgroups of number one and then uh, all is placed after a stem this is the second group and third group is when an adjective ends in hada and group four and group five can be a little bit tricky because they don't follow the previous three rules and have their own rule and they're called irregular adjectives. So we're gonna go over them group by group. So let's start with the first group. So you take out the stem of the verb and put a when the stem's last letter has a vowel or o vowel and ends in so the perfect examples are these three adjectives. So 좋다 has o vowel and has 받침. And these two, they have a vowel and have 
patim, right? So in these kinds of adjectives, you put a when conjugating it into a present tense. So 좋다 becomes 좋. You take out the stem and then put a. 좋아, 좋아. And if you want to make it in a 존댓말 form, you can use you, right? 좋아요. But we're going to exclude you from here. And 작다 as well, it becomes 작아. And 짧다 becomes 짧아, right? 짧아. So this one's not that difficult. And moving on to the second subgroup, when the stem ends in the vowel, Ah. So it means the stem doesn't end in patin and just in a. So words like sada, it only has a vowel, no patin, right? This one as well, a vowel, no patin. In this particular case, a should be deleted. So sada's present form is just sa, sa, because a is phonetically redundant, right? So you can just say sa, not sa, a, sa. And same with this, I think you can easily guess it. It's pisa, pisa. So when you say, oh, that's so expensive, 너무 비싸요. And if you want to say, my book is cheap, is cheap, you can say, oh, 제 책은 싸요. 제 책은 싸요, right? So this is not that difficult, right? We learned all about this in verb conjugation. And the third subgroup, Stem ends in the vowel o, just the vowel o, and nothing else. No patim, no a vowel, just o, like o da or po da, for example. So these are all the verbs, right? They're not adjectives. They're the verb that each mean to. Oh, sorry, to come and to see or to watch, right? And they all become o. Ah, but this is not the correct form. You have to actually combine them, o a, and make it wa. And this one as well, pu, and then you should put a. However, they has to be mixed and become pa. So this is the rule that we learned in verb conjugation again, right? And there are not many adjectives that belong to this group, so I didn't bring any adjectives that belong to. This group, I just brought it since uh, you might be kind of confused. Like, why aren't you not covering this group? Because there aren't that many adjectives here. That's why. And moving on to the second group, when all is placed after a stem when conjugated in present tense. And the first subgroup is the stem ends in a vowel other than a or o and and in patim. So the perfect examples of adjectives like this are chokta, o vowel, right? Not a or o, and it has patim. Nolta as well. Kilda as well. So for this, you have to put o, right? So chokta becomes chogo. So if you want to say uh, there are not many people, you can say 사람이 적어요. 사람이 적어요. And 넓다, 넓어, 넓어. When you want to say the sea is wide, you can say 바다가 넓어요. 바다가 넓어요. And 길다 as well. 길, oh. When you want to say your hair is long, you can say 네 머리가 길어. 네 머리가 길어. Right? And for these two, I don't know why I brought it here. It doesn't belong to this group. I'm sorry about that. You can just ignore these two because we're going to do it in another group, the number four group. But here it's uh, a group where a stem ends in a vowel other than a or o and has pat. And you can put a here. And for the subgroup number two and three, for the group two, there are not many adjectives that belong to this group as well. And for the fourth subgroup, when the stem ends in the vowel E, do you remember? It has to be, all has to be placed, but these two has to be phonetically combined and become yo, 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 right? 
So when you want to conjugate 느리다 in present tense, you can say 느려 A turtle is slow. 거북이가 느려요. 거북이가 느려요. 흐리다 as well. 흐려. 흐려. Right? So, uh, today's weather is cloudy. 오늘의 날씨는 흐려요. 오늘의 날씨는 흐려요. 시다 means to be sour. Becomes 셔. 셔, 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 셔. Right? So, uh, when you say strawberry is sour, you can say 딸기가 셔요. 딸기가 셔요. So that's how it works. And for group number three, when an adjective ends in 하다, we all know that 하 simply changes to 해 in, pre- in present form, right? So 편하다 is an adjective that means to be comfortable. And 불편하다 is an adjective that is opposite to 편하다, which means to be uncomfortable uncomfortable so pull here is a very useful word stem to know so pull comes from the chinese character and it means not so pull is negating 편하다 so uncomfortable and 뚱뚱하다 means to be overweight or like to be fat and 날씬하다 means to be skinny so if you conjugate all these 편해, 편해, 침대가 편해요, 침대가 편해요, the bed is comfortable, and 불편하다 becomes 불편해, 불편해, and 뚱뚱하다 becomes 뚱뚱해, right? So you can say, my cat is fat, 제 고양이는 뚱뚱해요. 제 고양이는 뚱뚱해요. And for 날씬하다, 날씬해, right? 날씬해. When the word stem, when the adjective stem ends in the vowel u, there are many adjectives, by the way, that end in u, like 슬프다, 예쁘다, 나쁘다, okay, I'm 바쁘다. 배고프다, 아프다, 쓰다, 다르다, 빠르다. And here the most complicating part is not all adjectives follow the same rule. As you can see, 슬프다 becomes 슬퍼 and 예쁘다 becomes 예뻐. So here you might think that, oh, then you just uh, remove 으 vowel and just put 어 vowel. Is that the rule? Uh, yes and no, it's because look how the next adjective changes. 나쁘다 becomes 나빠. 바쁘다 becomes 바빠. 배고프다 becomes 고파. 아프다 becomes 아빠. Sorry, 아파. <laughs> 아파. 쓰다 becomes 써 again. Oh, 다르다 becomes 달라. What? This is so different, right? And 빠르다 becomes 빨라. So what exactly is the rule, you may ask? And that's a very, very good question. So when the adjective stem ends in 으, you have to look at the word before it. So if the word before it has a vowel, a or o, like these four, a or o, right? These four. You can replace u with a vowel. So you take out the stem, right? Take out the stem, delete u vowel, and then put a. So 나쁘다 becomes 나빠. 바쁘다 becomes 바빠, 배고프다 becomes 고파, 아프다 becomes 아파. But 
these two, 슬프다 and 예쁘다, the, the preceding letter doesn't have a or o vowel in it, right? In this case, you replace u in the stem with o. So 슬프다 becomes 슬퍼, 예쁘다 becomes 예뻐. And 쓰다 doesn't have any a preceding letter, right? In this case, you can just replace u with o. So that's the rule for these kinds of adjectives. Uh, but here, 다르다 becomes 달라, 빠르다 becomes 빨라. So when an adjective ends in 으 vowel, but the last letter is 르, none other than 르, then you have to take out the stem and then put extra 리을 받침 in the first letter and then lu becomes la. You replace u vowel with a vowel. So it becomes tala and parda, following the same rule as tarda. You put extra li batim in the in the preceding letter and it becomes pal and then la. Pala. Pala. So this may seem very complicated at first and you may think, uh, when do I remember all the rules? But uh, it's not necessary that you try to cram the rules in your head because as you keep like encountering these words and as you keep using these uh, adjectives in sentences, in your own sentences, they will just be naturally registered in your head without thinking about all the rules. So you don't have to think, uh, okay, so 다르다 has 르 in it, so you have to put 리을 받침 in the first letter and then change 르 to 라. So that's how it's 달라. You don't have to go through all that process because it's just going to come very naturally to you as you keep using them. Do you know what I mean? So constant exposure to these words and constantly and actively using these words in your own sentences make all the rules unnecessary. We're just going over these rules so that you can understand why they are conjugated differently. But again, you don't have to remember these rules over and over again to get it correct. Do you know what I mean? So that's what I wanted to tell you uh, just in case you were kind of worried about this. And moving on to uh, group number five, when the verb stem ends in 비읍받침. 비읍받침. So there are many, many, many adjectives that end in 비읍받침, like these, and they're very frequently used ones. So it's different from the verbs that end in 비읍받침, but they are adjectives, sorry, this is not a verb stem, guys. It's adjective, right? Because we're learning about adjective conjugation. When the adjective conjugation stem, I mean, sorry, when an adjective stem ends in pu button, it follows a completely different rule. So, you take out the stem, it's meb, right? But you have to delete pu button and put wo letter. 매워. So, 김치는 매워요. Kimchi is spicy. And 아름답다 as well. You take out the stem, but without 비읍받침, and then you put 워. 아름다워. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. 덥다 becomes 더 because you have to delete 비읍 and just simply put 워. And now I believe you got the hang of it. So 춥다 becomes 추워. 어렵다 means to be difficult. 어려워. 쉽다. 쉬워. 외롭다. 외로워. And one more, guys. I forgot to include this one. 귀엽다. 귀엽다 means to be cute. And when it's conjugated in present form, it becomes 귀여워. 귀여워. 저 고양이 귀여워. That cat is so cute. Oh, 저 고양이 귀여워. Yes, that's how you conjugate adjectives like this in present form. We only dealt with the present form, but the past and future also works the same as the verb conjugation, so no need to worry about it. So if you want to make 좋아요 into a past form, you can simply 
take out the present stem and then put 상시, right? Oh, yo, 좋았어요. 작았어. 짧았어. Right? 상시 and 어. 상시 and 어. 상시 and 어. Just like verb past tense conjugation, right? And same with other things. 싸, 싸. If you want to say was cheap, you can say 싸싸, 싸싸. And if you want to say was expensive, you can say 상시 and 어. 비싸싸, 비싸싸. And other things as well. You can just put 상시 and and then, oh, 적었어. There wasn't many, right? 적었어. 넓었어. Was wide. 길었어. Was long, right? 느렸어. 흐렸어. 쉬었어. 편했어. 불편했어. 뚱뚱했어. 날씬했어. Was comfortable, was uncomfortable, was fat, was skinny, right? And same with these. 슬펐어, 예뻤어, 나빴어, 바빴어, 고팠어, 아팠어, 썼어, 달랐어, 빨랐어, right? And this one as well. 매웠어. They all were the same. Pio was so was cute. And so yes, that was about adjective conjugation in a sentence. And now let's move on to when the adjective function as a modifier, when it modifies a noun after it, how does it change its form? And it's very, very simple. So you just have to take out the stem of the adjective and put Dian Batim if the stem doesn't have Patim and Un letter if the stem does have patim. So either ndiun or un after a stem. You just simply have to remember that in a modifying form. So let's practice with the example sentences that I brought. So the weather is good. I actually printed out the list of Korean adjectives over here. And the adjectives I brought are all included in this list. They're all quite basic and commonly used ones. So, 날씨가 is good. And to be good is 좋다, 좋다. But since this has o vowel and 받침, you can put 아. 날씨가 좋아요. But how do you say a good friend? Let's first write the subject. 제프, right? 제프는, 제프는 a good friend. 조, so remember the rule that we just learned. If the stem ends in 받침, you put 은, right? And then it becomes good in its modifying form. So 제프는 좋은 친구, friend에요. 좋은 친구예요. Good friend. How about my hair is short? Let's write in 반말. 내 머리는, 내 머리는, my hair, 내 머리는 short. To be short is 짧다, 짧다. And since 짧 has 아 vowel and, 비, and 받침, you can say 짧아요. Short hair is beautiful, so we have two adjectives here, right? But each with different function. So beautiful works as a verb because it's used with be verb, right? And short functions as a modifier. So they should be in a different form. So 짤 has 받침, so you put 은 to make it into a modifier. And it becomes 짧은 머리는, 짧은 머리는 beautiful. Do you remember what beautiful was? 아름, 아름답다, right? 아름답다. And if an adjective ends in 비읍받침, then you have to 
delete pub and say 하워 or make it in a 존댓말 form. 짧은 머리는 아름다워요. 아름다워요. And here you may be wondering, pub in 짤 has also pub 받침. So then does it mean this belongs to number five group as well? The, the adjective that ends in pub 받침? And the answer is no. When 받침 is only pub, not two consonant 받침, but only pub 받침, that's when the group number five rule applies, the pub 받침 rule applies, but not this one. I uh, hope you're not confused about that. So yes, basically you can do it like this. And for beautiful eyes, beautiful eyes, you can say 아름다, 아름다운 눈. So here, you might have noticed, oh, this doesn't follow the, the simple rule that we just learned, that if the stem has 받침, you have to put 은, and if the stem doesn't have 받침, you have to put 니은, right? Uh, so 아름다운 doesn't seem like it's following this rule. So for the verb that ends in 비읍 받침, not only in the conjugation rule, but also in the modifying rule, it has a different rule. You, you just have to delete 비읍 받침 and put 운. Not 은, but 운. So 아름답다, 아름답다. When it's in modifying form, you delete 비읍 받침 and then put 운. Same with other forms. For example, 귀엽다, we learn, means to be cute, right? When you want to uh, say a cute cat, cute in that sentence is a modifying form, right? So change it into modifying form and you just have to delete 비읍 and then put 운. So it becomes... 귀여운, 귀여운, cute, 고양이, cute cat, 귀여운 고양이, a cute cat. So that's how you can do it. And for the adjective spicy, it's 맵다. And this one also has 비읍받침. This food, 이 음식은, 이 음식은 매, take out 비읍. 워, right? 유. 매워요. But when it becomes a modifying form, it follows this rule. You delete 비읍 and just put 운. 매운. Not 매은, 매운. And spicy food becomes 매운 음식. So I don't eat spicy food. 저는 subject comes first and then object 배운 음식을 don't eat 안 right 안 먹어요 안 is the negation of the verb 안 먹어요 the weather is hot today usually when you're talking about like the day like tomorrow today day after tomorrow this kind of adverb uh, can be placed uh, at the very beginning of a sentence so Today can come first, and you can say 오늘, 오늘, 날씨가, the weather, 날씨가, is hot. Do you remember? It was 덥다, 덥다, and this one has 비읍받침, right? So when it's conjugated in present tense, you take out 비읍받침 and put 워, right? Just like 맵다 becoming 매워. 덥다 becomes 더워. 오늘 날씨가 더워요. And how do you say hot weather? Hot weather. 덥다. Delete 비읍 받침. And put 운. 날씨. 더운 날씨. I, 저는 hot weather, 더운 날씨를 don't like. Don't like. 안 좋아해요. 안 좋아해요. I don't like hot weather. And my hair is long. How do you say my hair is long? 제 머리가 제 머리가 is long. Long to be long is 길다. And we learned 
that when the stem has vowels other than a or o and ends in patim, we have to put o. 길어요. 제 머리가 길어요. How do you say I like long hair? So, if you follow the regular rule, it's 길, the stem, and then 은. Right? So you might think it might become 길은 머리. However, this is actually wrong. And the correct form is 긴. 긴 머리. And why is that? Because 길다 is also an irregular form of an adjective. So when an adjective has, um, has 리을 받침, it ends in 리을 받침 in its stem, when it functions as a verb, it follows the regular rule. You just have to put o in it. And 달다, it means to be sweet, like the food is sweet. And if you conjugate it in present form, it follows the regular rule, right? 달, and since it ends in 받침 and has a vowel, we put a. 달아요 is sweet and is long. However, when they become a modifier, when they become a modifier, you have to delete 리을 and replace it with 니은 받침. So 길다 becomes 긴 in its modifying form. And 달다, you can guess it now, becomes 단. Because you have to delete 리을 and replace it with 니은. So 긴 머리 means long hair. And sweet coffee is Tan kopi. Tan kopi. So let's finish the sentences. I like long hair. 저는, 저는 긴 머리를 좋아해요. I like long hair. And this coffee is sweet. You can say, 이 커피는, 이 커피는 달아요. 이 커피는 달아요. But when 달다 becomes a modifier, it follows an irregular rule and has the form of 단. I don't drink 단 커피. 저는 subject, object, 단 커피를 안 마시다 becomes 마셔요 in its present form. 안 마셔요. In our last sentence, I feel lonely. We learned that to be lonely is 외롭다, and this one also ends in 비읍받침, right? So, you can conjugate it like this, following the 비읍받침 ending adjective rule. So, 저는 외로워요 means I feel lonely or I am lonely. And how do you say lonely people? Lonely people. 외로, take out 비읍받침, put Un. 외로운 people, 사람, person, 들, people, right? Because 들 is a particle that makes it into a plural form. 사람들, 외로운 사람들. In modern society, there are many lonely people. So modern society is 현대사회, 현대사회. And what corresponds to in here? So if you guys have taken my E and ESO lesson, we learned that E and ESO can both be a place particle, right? That means in or at. But if the following verb indicates the existence of something, we learned that E sounds more natural than ESO. So here we have to go with the particle E. So you can say, 현대 사회에 현대 사회에 or you can also put 는 particle here we haven't learned this in depth yet but 는 not only work as a subject marking particle but it also works as a topic marking particle so it indicates that the word before it is a topic of the sentence but once again we're going to cover it in depth in another lesson 현대 사회에는 for there are we can use it verb, right? To be there. So for many, 많다 is an adjective that means to be many, to be many. 
And when you want to make it in a modifier, you can put un because this one has patin. 많은, 많은 외로운 사람들이 Many lonely people, 사람들이 있어요. You can say it like this. 현대사회에는 많은 외로운 사람들이 있어요. And there are also other ways you can write this sentence. So, instead of making many in an adjective, you can change it into an adverb and say 많이 있어요. So we learned that adjectives can also turn into an adverb by changing its form. And for banta, when you put e after it, after the stem, it becomes a, a, an adverb that means a lot. So it means there are a lot of 외로운 사람들. There are a lot of lonely people. So you can use it like this. Or the most simple way would be just saying 많아요, 많아요, 많아요. Just making 많다 in its present tense form and saying 많아요. 현대사회에는 외로운 사람들이 많아요. 많은 외로운 사람들이 있어요. 외로운 사람들이 많이 있어요. 외로운 사람들이 많아요. And they are 맛있다, 맛없다, 재미있다, 재미없다. And these two as well, but for these two, we're going to learn it in our next lesson. But for now, let's focus on these four. 맛있다, to be delicious. 맛없다, to taste bad. 재미있다, to be fun. And 재미없다, to be boring. It tastes good. It means it's delicious, right? So you can go with the adjective. 맛있다. And when you want to say not delicious, you can go with the adjective 맛없다. So when you want to say it tastes good, you can say 맛있어. 맛있어, right? Just conjugate it in present form. And 맛없어 for it tastes bad, right? But how about when these two become a modifying form? And you want to say delicious food and bad food. They have to be in its modifying form, right? And if you follow the regular rule, it should be 맛있 and you have to put 은, right? Because this one ends in 받침. However, 은 is not correct. <laughs> it's actually 는. 맛있는, 맛있는 음식. It's not 맛있은 음식, it's 맛있는 음식. And I'm going to tell you the reason why after we do bad food. So as you have guessed it, it's not 맛없은, it's 맛없는 음식. Not delicious food, bad food. So why does it work this way? Before I tell you why, <laughs> let's look at these two as well. So 재미있다. 재미 itself is a noun that means fun, and 재미있다 means to have fun, right? So it, it means something is fun or something is interesting, and 재미없다 means there isn't fun. So it means it's no fun, it's boring. And here as well, when you say this book is fun, you can say 이 책은 재미 있어요. 이 책은 재미 있어요. And for boring, you can say 재미 없어요. But how about when they become a modifying form? You can say 재미 있는, not 은, but 는, 영화. 재미 있는 영화. A boring book. 재미. Omnen tech. Right? So here as well you put nun. So the reason why nun is placed after these adjectives is because they come from the verb itta and opta. Itta and opta. So itta and opta as we know are verbs. 
They are verbs. It's just that when you put 맛있다 and 재미있다, it functions as an adjective, but 있다 and 없다 itself is a verb. And we haven't learned this uh, in depth yet, but not only the adjective, but actually a verb can also modify a noun. When a verb becomes a modifier, it looks like this in English. So a student is a noun, a man is a noun, and the woman is a noun, right? And these are all the modifiers of a noun. Except that the verb doesn't directly modify a noun. There has to be like other grammatical elements involved. However, in Korean, a verb can directly modify a noun. And this is what we're going to learn in our very next lesson. But just for a little spoiler, it's that you put nun after a verb stem. Nun. Whether a verb ends in 받침 or no 받침, we can just place nun to make a verb in its present modifying form. If you want to change it into a past modifying form, you have to put uh, something else. But we're going to learn about this in our very next lesson because we don't want to fry our brain too much in one lesson, right? So yes, that's what we're going to learn in the next lesson. And that is also why for these adjectives that stem from a verb, nun is added instead and not un because that's how verb becomes a modifying form. So that went unexpectedly long. I expected it to be like less than 30 minutes, but I will post all the review note and these list of Korean adjectives and also the review quiz, the same sentences that we did in this lesson in my on my website and the link will be in the description box so you can find it there. But anyways, thank you so much guys for watching and I will see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye. And my cat has been on my bed all along while I was filming. <laughs> she was actually sleeping, but she just woke up. And she's actually not my cat. She's my sister's cat. Uh, yeah. So here is the cat. And I will end this video now. Bye-bye.